Welcome to Bobble Ball lesson number four. During this lesson we're going to be discussing the two most common methods of keeping score when two teams are competing against each other in the game of Bobble Ball. The first method is what I like to call the win-loss method, where the second method I like to call the points method. Now in order to demonstrate these two methods, let's walk down to the end of the table where we have a setup as if the first frame of Bobble Ball has just been completed. Now we're going to be using our scorekeeping beads where the white beads are going to represent the points earned by the light color team and the dark beads are going to represent the points earned by the dark color beads. So if this was the end of frame one and we were using the win-loss method of keeping score, the dark color team would earn one point because its ball is closer to bobble ball than the light color team. If this were the ending of frame two, the light color team would earn one point. And if this were the ending of frame three, the dark color team would earn one point because the dark color team is closer. If this were the ending of frame four, the light color team would earn one point. And if this were the ending of frame five, the light color team would earn one point because its light colored ball is closest to bobble ball. And if this were the ending of frame six, the light color team would earn one point. Now six frames do complete one round in Bobble Ball, so after one round the light color team would be the winner at four points to the dark color team's two points. Now in the event of a tie, we will discuss what happens in future learning videos. However, that basically completes how a win-loss method of scorekeeping is kept. Now in the points method of scorekeeping, the only thing that really is different is how many of your team balls are closer to bobble ball. Instead of just counting one point, we're going to count one point for every one of your balls that's closest before your opponent's ball is the next closest. As an example, if this was the ending of frame one, then the dark color team is winning, but it would earn one point, two points, three points, and then the next closest ball is the opponent's ball. So let's give the dark color team three points for frame one. One, two, three. Now if this were the ending of frame two, the light color team would earn one point, two points, and the next closest ball is the dark colored ball. So let's give the light color team two points. One, two. Now if this were the ending of frame three, the dark color team is closest and it would earn one point, but that's it because the light colored ball is the next ball in succession. So let's give the dark color team one point. Now if this were the ending of frame four, the light color team would earn one point, two point, and the next closest ball is the opposing ball. So let's give the light color team two points. Now if this were the placement of Bobble Ball during the fifth frame, then the dark color team would earn one point, and that would be it because the next closest ball is the light colored ball. So let's give the dark color team one point. And in the sixth and final frame, let's place Bobble Ball at that position, and the light color team would earn two points. One, two, and the next closest ball is the opposing ball, thereby stopping the count. So let's give the light color team two points. So again, we have just quickly played six frames, which equals one round, and after one round, the light color team has six points versus the dark color team having five points. Now it's very important that you determine what method of scorekeeping you're going to use before you start the game. That way you avoid any controversy after the first frame is rolled. Please visit our website at bobbleball.com or deriginal.com and watch our learning videos if you'd like to learn more about how to play bobble ball. Thank you and happy bobbling!